Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I am here to do a full moon reading for you. This is going to be for Aries. Uh, what is this full moon bringing in for you? What's going to happen? What, I mean, we'll see. This reading may or may not be for you, so let's just see what we got. What do we have for Aries for the Virgo full moon? Now, the energies can be playing out now up to a few days later, even later than that. But right around the full moon. Let's just stick with that. Okay. What do we have for Aries? What can they expect? The devil. So the devil is temptation, lust, greed. Uh, getting desires met. Needing to get de desires met. It looks as though we have somebody here that has been in a cage. You know, there. but you have an opportunity to break free from something. Maybe it's something that is that you are in based on lust you may be in it because of lust for lustful reasons or a codependency of some sort any type of codependency this is a codependent situation that you have an opportunity to break free from right now the door is open okay the door is not closed aries this is an opportunity to break free from a codependent situation okay something that you may be in just for either lust reasons or materialistic reasons could be some sort of obsession or something like that. But the door is open. You can break free from this situation. It's toxic. It's unhealthy. The choice is yours. You can stay trapped in this situation. Okay, it's not healthy. You're just biding your time. Okay, this is a disaster. All you have to do is break yourself free from it. Okay? So the opportunity is there right now during this full moon to fly away to break free from these chains that you are tied to the door is wide open no oh, i think we'll go with this one next what do we have for aries memories your memories are like diamonds in the treasure treasure chest of your spirit more and more memories are arising within you remember the happier moments with your loved ones who are here in the spirit world for neither time nor distance can stop the energy of love that you have for one another but maybe you're being guided from somebody that has passed away to break free if you're if you're in something that you know that you shouldn't be in but you're in it for all the wrong reasons it looks like you know, it looks like they're trying to speak with you, you know. There's a lot of memories, maybe something to do with your childhood. You know, sometimes when we have a bad childhood, we don't know our value, we don't know our worth, and we get ourselves in situations with people that don't value us because that's all we know. What do we have for Aries? Four of Pentacles holding on. And that's, that's it right there too. Holding on to something very much afraid of loss. For some of you, it's because of the security it provides. It provides you, maybe it's the roof, you know, or it's, it feeds some sort of security within you because this is about security. It's like, I'm gonna hold on, I'm holding on. I'm holding on to this for security reasons, but Holding on some, to something so tightly does not allow anything else in. This is the Four of Pentacles. This is not the Ten of Pentacles. Okay, this is having very little. Having enough, but not a lot. Okay? It may be, maybe you're just holding on to something because it provides you enough security, but it's not the ultimate security. You know? This is holding on tightly. This is like... Um, very much afraid of loss. This guy looks miserable. Miserable. This is a codependency of some sort. You need to open up. You, you need to break free from something that you're holding on to for the wrong reasons. You're not allowing anything in by holding on to this. It is a miserable situation. It is. 
because of the devil and the four of pentacles it's it's not allowing anything else into your life oh lovers reversed is a detachment from a partnership this is not compatible you're in some sort of partnership whether it's a whatever it is it's a codependency of some sort it's an addiction it's an it's something it's for all the wrong reasons okay this is detaching from a partnership that is not compatible it's not there's no unity here there's it's a one-sidedness there's a one-sided connection here holding on to a partnership that's not harmonious it's anyway i feel like there's going to be a detachment from this partnership whatever this partnership is there is this is a detachment this is not a good match there could be fighting there could be arguing not seeing eye to eye but very much tied to it because you have to find that strength to break free to break yourself free Right now, you're tied to it and you're holding on to it, whatever this partnership is. Six of Pentacles reverse. It's a one sided situation. You're not getting what you deserve underneath that devil. It's just a plain old codependency. It's either based on lust, greed, code, I just don't want to be alone, that kind of thing. Six of Pentacles reverse is a one-sided situation. There's lack of reciprocation, not getting what you deserve. You're definitely not getting what you deserve. There's an imbalance here. This is this is like not fair. It's not fair. Hanged man. Some of you could be dealing with the Pisces. You also have Gemini here. Hanged man, hanging on, hanging on here too, and refusing to break free, hanging on, what, because of a belief, because of some sort of memories that you have, maybe, self-sacrifice, refusing to change, you need to look at things from a new perspective, you need to be open-minded, you need to face those struggles to let go, this is power struggles, the hangman is power struggles, struggling to let go of something that is not, I mean, you have two sixes reverse, it's bringing you backwards. You're trapped in a, in a dark situation that is not bringing you forwards. You're not moving forwards. You're stuck. You're really stuck. Not getting at what you deserve at all. This is sad. It is sad. <laughs> You must let go. You must let go. You must. Holding on for financial reasons, maybe? Or because you don't want to be alone, even though there's no compatibility here. There's probably even no attraction to it. judgment so judgment is coming this is a final decision it's the end of things it's absolution uh a big announcement is coming um this is a chance for a new life you have you the door is open you have a chance you will be given a chance to break free from some sort of toxic situation where there's an incompatibility here there's disharmony in this union this full moon is going to open a door for you whether you fly or not is going to be up to you you're not being recognized. You're not, you're not getting the recognition that you deserve. You're not getting the payout that you deserve. You're not receiving what you deserve. You deserve reciprocation. You deserve unity. You deserve to be treated fairly. You deserve more. You deserve a perfect partnership, okay? Everybody does. Judgment is the end of things, end of holding on, the end of holding on to something, making a judgment call, making a decision. Maybe you're gonna, maybe you're starting to look at things differently. We can hope and pray. I feel like they're bringing about a lot of memories. I think that you may be in your feelings remembering things. Maybe these memories are gonna start to give you a new perspective about, you know, a decision that you need to make. If there's something that you're holding on to that you need to release, judgment is release. It's also a card of forgiveness and acceptance of the truth. So there's some sort of truth that you need to accept about something that you are holding on to for security reasons. This is a fear of loss. 
okay? You're staying in a situation, maybe because you don't know your value or you're afraid of being rejected someplace else. You know? I feel like you're being undervalued, but you're hanging on to it, right? Are you trying to prove something? Judgment is a life-changing decision about your security, about your stability, about a partnership. You're going to be making a life-changing decision. This is it. I mean, judgment is the end, okay? It's a, it's a final decision. It's the end of the trial. It's the deliberation is over. Making a decision about your security, about your stability in the very near future. You're going to be making a life-changing decision. I'm a little wet, red. I went and sat outside for just a few minutes. <laughs> Oh, extremely stressed out. I mean, that Nine of Swords is stressed out, right? It's like worried, fearful, regret, serious regrets. Repeating negative patterns. Very much afraid. Afraid of what? Why are you so afraid? Because the devil has control? Is that why? Lust, greed, money? Maybe afraid of being alone? Afraid of being judged? Afraid of being rejected? Afraid maybe you just don't know what you deserve. You don't know your value. You don't know your worth. I think that you're in a place of stress, strife. Deep thought, giving deep thought to a partnership. I think you are giving deep thought to a partnership. I think that it's toxic. I mean, devil is a toxic bond. It's a trauma bond where you are definitely not getting what you deserve. I feel like we have a separation. Okay, that is a separation. It is a detaching, even though it's extremely stressful to detach. There's disharmony. There could be... Uh, arguments that are happening this is karma there's karma playing out truths coming out as well there could be some truths coming out that are really causing you a lot of stress it does have to do with this partnership that where there's a there's disharmony in this partnership there is Ah, breaking free. Thank the Lord Jesus. So maybe you're going to be breaking free from this partnership. This is freedom, okay? This is, okay? It is, I mean, we go from stuck, really stuck, to breaking free. I do think that there is a separation here with something that you have been holding on to. This is taking back control, breaking free. So I do think you're going to be breaking free from a partnership that is extremely codependent, okay? It's, it's based on money or lust, okay? That's all it's based on, okay? That's it. There's no love in these cards, okay? None, not even any. There, there's memories. And maybe there was sex or there was some, or, or it was money that you were attracted to. There was, there's no love in these cards, okay? There isn't, whatever this is. If it's not a relate, if it's not a partnership, it's a work situation. But this is detaching from a partnership that was... Uh, that you were you got into it was a it was a it was a partnership that you got into learn to learn some sort of lesson about a lesson about yourself about your value you've been in some sort of partnership just for the money maybe it looks like it's for the money this there is going to be a separation from this partnership what do we have for Aries for this full moon A severing of ties child you care deeply about children they readily respond to your love all children including your own inner child require love affection and attention we can clear and open your heart and schedule so that you can give more time and energy to the children who need you it's either your children or your inner child everybody deserves to be loved okay and nurtured you know, like a mother's love, 
like an empress, right? Everybody deserves to be loved. They deserve to be loved, okay? Some of you may be protecting yourself. You're, you're not letting anything in. You're tied to some sort of trauma bond. Maybe it's just to protect yourself because you don't know your value. You don't know your worth. Either way, these angels are going to be clearing a path for you. A path is going to be cleared. The door is going to be open. A door is going to be opening for you, whether you go down that path or not. I think that you are because we have a separation here. We do have a separation from a toxic situation. Good luck.